Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Taxi Life. City Driving Simulator. Me, Mr. Sim Gamer. I hope you are incredibly well today. So, guys, we are off to pick up our next customer. Adela. And, uh, whoa. She would like a uh, short journey. Which is uh, good for us. We want a couple of short journeys because the task from the last episode is that we are looking to buy that second vehicle for 5,000 euros and we're not too far from it. We're not too far from it. All right, so it is nearly five in the morning. So traffic is going to start to build up slowly now. Always a worry. On traffic lights, there we go. When there's more traffic, there's usually more bugs. I found driving in this game. I'm gonna go through the red lights, guys. I'm gonna get to up this woman. And at the moment, there's no penalty for it. So I'm like. Forty city driving. Um, yes, I I have found there are less bugs in this game if you play at night. Nighttime driving, as in between midnight and now. So we may experience a few more in-game bugs at this time of day. I don't know. We'll find out. The sun is now rising, as you can see on the buildings. It is beautiful. Skip around this car. We are on a mission. And that mission is to make some Mahula. If I know I did just drive for a red light. We are... So, I've just received an in-game achievement. Cover 100 kilometers in single career. Love that. I haven't really done a massive amount, it feels like. Apparently I've played for seven hours. So I suppose that is achievable. So Adela Marshall, we've got 1.5 kilometers, whoopsie. Holy gosh, sorry Adela. I hope you are not frightened of terrible driving. Beautiful cobblestones. Driving through the old town now. I hate that. You look to your left and then suddenly there's someone right, sitting right there when only one person got in the car. That, that's another thing I would like them to fix, but it's not urgent. As far as fixes go, that is quite low on the priority list. But I would like to see it. Oh! Gosh! That was an MS. Very near miss. Had my uh, heart racing a little bit. I do love how this game shadows the shadowing on this game when the from sunset to sunrise is really nice. I'm unsure about where everybody's going here. I'm just gonna accelerate past and I think I was in the wrong 
that I was in the wrong lane, which has not helped the situation at all. So for anybody that watches my channel, um, you'll know I have started uh, Lumberjack Dynasty. I've also been sent four games this week. Four. From you guys. Yeah. Saying, I know you've got a busy schedule, but... Oh my goodness, I'm in the wrong lane. Forgot about this road being weird. I know you got a busy schedule, but you should check out this game. And I've just had another one come through about um, Big Ambition. And that game has been popping up in my suggested games recently. And. I have to say, it's piquing my interest. Um, whoopsie. Oh, I've ruined it right at the end. That feeling when you don't think you're going to get a tip. No tip. That does not surprise me in the slightest. this so yes that one has piqued my interest now there is one game which i am thinking of dropping from my roster um and that game is contraband police only because it is a bit more violent than i expected and um my channel isn't really about that. I do have, and I've played many games with violence in, of course I have. Um, I've, and yeah, I love them. I love them. Brilliant games. I've got nothing against them, but my... My lifestyle doesn't really suit playing games that make me really anxious. Um, I'm quite an anxious person anyway. So I was finding games like... Call of, oopsie. I'm going to follow you. I was finding games like Call of Duty and... Oh, you name it. Actually, a game which I absolutely adore, and I don't regret playing it, even though it did stress me out, was Last of Us. Last of Us, Days Gone. Oh, I could list. I could make a huge list of games which I've played, which I've loved every second of it. Um, I've chosen not to even play those in my spare time as much anymore. Or at all. To be honest, the only game which I'm considering getting right now is the Final Fantasy Rebirth. Um, and I'll be playing that with my husband. I won't be streaming that or putting it on my channel. That is just a play by myself. And it really is just, I felt my heart rate just pounding through the roof. So I was like, this is not good for me. And the adrenaline was just getting like, just too much. Especially if you play before bed and your heart's pumping and you're not able to rest um, and because I've played simulator games since I don't know how old I was I'll be honest with you I've lost track now 
Um, my first simulator game was Theme Hospital on the PC when I was I don't know how old. I, I was Diddy. And I loved it. Then when my parents said I could, I got The Sims. The first ever Sims. I played all of The Sims games. Uh, I haven't played any for a while. I'm back into this. That car behind me lets me. Oh, gonna let me? Seriously? I was indicating, mate. Oh no! Just the wrong button. What a plonker! What an absolute plonker! Okay. Yes, I played The Sims as a uh, a youngster, and that was revolutionary when it first came out. And I don't know how many hours I put into that game. Um, Sims Four, I played Sims Two, Sims Three, Sims Four. I've obviously played a lot when it came out on the PlayStation Four. Um, I have got it on my PlayStation Five, but I've barely touched. Honest. And again, there are, as far as games that I like to play in my spare time now, um, if Sims 5 came out, I would be on it. I'll be honest, it, I would be sh playing it, streaming it, loving it. Maybe not streaming it, just playing for fun for myself. There are a lot of incredibly, incredibly talented content creators in the Sims world. And I mean really talented and I've watched quite a few of them myself one of my absolute favorites um, is a British woman who's living in America and her profile name is whiny Brit oh my gosh she is really really good and her channel's just exploded because she is hilarious. She is so funny. And how she comes up with all these ideas to keep her content fresh is remarkable, to be honest. It is, it is hard, especially when you, you have a game which you specialize in and there's no other games coming out for the foreseeable. They've been developing sims 5 since i don't know when um but because because they haven't quite nailed sims 4 and i think comfortably the sims creators and well the content creators for sure would all agree that it's not really where it should be and the longer they leave it, um, the developers of the game, the worse it's going to get because technology is moving on. So whatever they're developing is going to be pointless, pointless, but old before it even comes out. So I think that's that's always a big danger when you follow up a franchise like the sims you got to you... yeah i'm nervous i wouldn't be surprised if they never bring another one out and or the thing is they've invested so much in it they probably will if they have they probably had to scrap it and start again which is why it's taking so long technology has changed if you think about this game versus some other, i know you can't really compare it with crazy taxi but let's just compare it to it for now because it is a taxi game the graphics the 
I know there's a couple of things that still need to be worked on. I get that. You've got to remember this is not even a week old yet. Although by the time this is released it will be. But if you think about how far games are growing in the capabilities, the way they look, yeah, I think it's something that they are going to struggle with. And if you look at games like uh, ones which are more turnkey, let's say football, the football games, football managers and things like that, They obviously keep up to date. Okay, yeah. They obviously keep up to date with their technologies and they have to keep moving it forward. And they do it every single year. We take Farming Simulator, which is on my other channel. I play that on its own on that channel. Um, although I did release the Taxi Life on that channel to to show my support. Um, I'm just going to go back in cab. Wait a second. They release a game they used to do every two years, but now they're doing every three years. And I think, again, it is just... That's about right. If you leave it more than three years... Technology's moved on. Oh gosh, what are you doing? There we go. Ah, what on earth? This game is trying to trick me, I swear. Okay. We've now got enough money to go and sort out a new car. Let's do it. Right, we've got to come out. Um, There we go. I'm just going to be out of the vehicle for this little bit because I am in the wrong side of thy road. Now I'm going to be super duper naughty. Oh my goodness. You can't drive through that? That's no Grand Theft Auto. Drive over the curbs and all sorts. Okay. So. As we discovered in our last episode, um, we can only have one of each at the moment. So we are buying this Oh, and just click on all it has bought it. Not great, is it? What if I didn't want to buy it? And why is that empty? Right, let's pop you in here. What's the time of the day now? Okay, let's put him on. at nine in the morning. Okay. Uh, uh, here. At nine in the morning as well. So then we've got them both working because this is the problem that I had. Yesterday, or this is weekly, but yesterday, Irene was ill. It's part of her downfalls. She's a workaholic, but she's ill. It's ill a lot. So she cost me, I still had to pay her, 
and Eugene, I didn't have a car for him. But now they have a car each. So Eugene going to be working nine till five in Raville, the tourist area. And Irene is going to be working again at nine till six because she's a bit more of a workaholic if she's not sick. Um, but she is going to be working in another touristy area, uh, Barcelona. So they've got a car each. So employees, cars. Why does it come up with both Zadina? Because we have cars owned. Oh, I have two Sedinas. Okay. Sedina one, Sedina two. Oh, I can buy more than one then. I was wrong. Apologize. I take that back. Okay. All right, let's have a look at our skill points. Um, we've already got the company up all the way. Economic driver, proficiency. Use car using car stations, clean and charging takes less time. Monthly money saver, yes, let's do money saver. Law abiding. Yes, let's do that. Okay, that's that's a about where I want to be, I think, for now. Exclusive jobs become available. Ooh. Maybe I should have done this one more. Long distance jobs become available. Shame I can't take it back. Oh, you can. You want to reset all skill points. No, that's cheating. We'll we'll do more. We'll get more skill points, and we'll focus on this one. This is really good. Then you get in. Um, cars take less damage after a collision. That's good. Chance to get big tip is higher. That's good. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. okay. That is very cool. And I love that they've got proper statistics here. I'm a proper statistic statistic nerd. What I want to see. Okay, let's look for another job, guys. Our employees will be starting in two hours. We want to see how they do, turn up. Um, right, let's zoom in. So we can't take that job because that needs... Oh, she only wants an electric car. Oh, sorry. E. Um... That's a good one. Take that. Okay. Get this engine on. Oh, beautiful. What a view. In fact, I might take a picture of that. Quite cool. I like that. We now have traffic, which is a bit annoying. I just hit into that car and I hit it again. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes. Gosh, I'm not doing very well today. I apologise, everybody. This is not good driving. I have a really bad feeling I'm on the wrong side here. I thought this was one side of traffic. If someone starts driving at me, I might scream. I know we're safe.
Thank goodness. What's that there by the looks of it? Oh no, they're building more. Beautiful. Trying to concentrate. Sorry if I were going quiet. Not doing a uh... yeah, look behind me. Okay, I'm just going to remove, remove this waypoint. Okay. We're actually going back to where we were. Fiat 500 wanted to get in front of us, didn't it? Bird sound is bored. How long do you usually work? Uh, I long. usually work the whole day, sometimes even longer when it's busy. Do you ever get tired of it? Not really. It keeps me busy and I love what I do. Most people would be exhausted working that much. I love being my own boss. I can control how much I work and when I work. I admire people who can manage their schedule and make good money. Thank you for the compliment. Do like that extra element to this game. I've said it a couple of times now, but it does add something. Checking what the time was. See if it's employee time yet. Not quite yet. That's where we started off in that garage over there. Or we were in that garage, I should say. So, yeah, it is now 7.40 a.m. Hopefully they will be starting very soon. Let's hope there's no drama. I thought we were going this way. 
me this way a minute ago. So I need to go round, do a tiny little come back on myself. Feel the traffic has increased quite substantially. of it though i'm pleased for that because barcelona is a very busy city if it didn't have the traffic it would not feel realistic There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we got a nice little tip there. That's excellent news. We've just reached level 10 as well by the looks of it, have we? Yeah, close to. Right, Carla, let's take this job. I am going to do a Yui. And get to Carla quicker. During these busy periods, I feel like being outside of the car is safer. We can see around us a lot better. piggyback and there we go 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 all right how far away so she's not point two six it's a shame that they don't give us a mad amount of information on the outside of the car as they do in the inside Barcelona market, been in there a few times. 
love that sorry everybody I uh, caught my mouse Come on in. You know, without going inside the car, we don't know how long this journey is. Okay, so it's 2.3 kilometers. Apparently, it's past a short. So, I'll be the judge of that. Nice to see some more of Old Town. <laughs> Old Town during rush hour. This is not the sort of road you want to pull out on. A main road from a side road. But it is realistic. That indicator on. Looks like we need to head over to the left hand side as well. Good journey so far. Not a mad amount of drama. Waiting for it though. I reckon there's going to be a crash here in a minute. The moment I say that and drama happens. Crash behind us as well. <laughs> going on can't you another beautiful part stunning I love all the balconies with all the flowers on and the trees. It's just, just perfect. I'm not going down that bit. Going down. We were here in the last episode. An incredible view. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that car up there. <laughs> Is it a plane? I have a habit of things going buggy when I play. Oh, man. Oh, man. the red light for the light Oops, yeah. all right start to slowly move over lanes just beautiful i'm just obsessed with the way how this they've made this place come alive right I'm very close now apparently oh yeah there's the buzzy green colour up there. Greeny blue. Let's go over there. Let's drop. Lovely person off. And say goodbye to you, the viewers. And thank you ever so much for joining me for yet another experience around Barcelona. It's been good. It's been great. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Until next time, I'll see you here in Barcelona very soon. Bye for now.